Welcome to the Big Braid Show. I'm your host, Mr. Big Braids, coming to you live from Reservation Somewhere. Take a look at ALCX and the rest of the market. View of the coins coming in. Amazing price action coming out of ALCX at 13. Got that area of interest just above that 3401 that we've been keeping an eye on. As far as making some movement to the upside, we got to get back over that 786 at 3622. Make our way up to the 618 at 4313. Breakout action to the upside. Got a few areas of interest here. Got my eyes on this uh, eighty dollar area as far as a uh, seventy four to eighty dollar area. If we can start making smoothing up over that resistance area there and start making some moves to the upside, that would definitely start looking like some bullish moves to the upside. I'm definitely out here expecting that short squeeze with the market. A lot of stuff going on in the market today. We got freaking Russia, Ukraine going on. We got China, Taiwan. We got monkeypox. We got COVID. We got a lot of stuff affecting the market. We got we haven't really felt the the, the impact of the first interest rate hikes across the board. People are just not starting to feel them. You know, everybody's just not starting to notice. <laughs> Wallets getting a little short. Prices are getting a little high, and the markets possibly possibly set for some lower price action i'm definitely out here lurking for that lower price action a lot of people see tragedy i definitely see some opportunity and i'm definitely ready to buy at some all-time lower price action we've seen this coming since november we've been talking about it since then we've been lurking out here for this lower price action we've had a lot of big wigs talking about some ultimate low low price action i've been definitely out here lurking so here we are at 3418 so if we do start seeing some dp action we definitely Keep it at 3401. If we do lose 3401, definitely going to see some consolidation down towards that 3085. And if we lose that price action, could start seeing some consolidation down to some lower price action around that 1924. And a lot of these coins with these low price, you know, currencies, I definitely start kind of get worried because a lot of them should be moving a lot better in the market with a lot, you know, we got like, whereas you have like XLM that has quite a bit of them or <laughs> Kata that has a lot of coins as well, AMP, uh, you know, the, these coins here, uh, ALCX, you know, it doesn't take a lot to move it, but we got 3418 and you always got to remember this is not financial advice and the reviews and opinions on the market only. And you always got to do what's right for you. So keep it on the price section, keep it on BTC. We'll do a follow up video tomorrow and see where we're at. And you always got to remember this is not financial advice and the reviews and opinions on the market only. And you always got to do what's right for you. So we got LCX coming out. LCX, excuse me, <laughs> coming in at 0.0611, getting that sideways. She's been holding that line just above that 786, above 0.0544, holding that price action between 0.0544 and just over 6 cents. So, been holding really good. And, uh, you know, I'm definitely excited to see where we're going with LCX. If we can start making some movement over that 10 cent area, I've been keeping my eye on that. Could possibly get that short squeeze to the upside. A lot of the coins have been hitting that, you know, that price action there, hitting that resistance and getting that consolidation back down to the lower price action been seeing it hit a couple times now been keeping my eye out for it definitely out here waiting for some uh <laughs> some accumulation getting some scalps in scalping that action but you know <laughs> but we definitely gonna keep it on that resistance so we do start seeing some movement over that 10 uh 10 cent area and start making some movement to the upside definitely time to get excited i'm definitely out here you know, I'm, I'm, I'm buckled in and ready to go, but I'm also ready to buy at some all-time low prices as well. So just keeping an eye on that. You know, we got a lot of stuff that's affecting the market like we were talking about earlier. And uh, you know, I'm definitely out here looking for the accumulation over time. Whenever the market's ready to go back up, you know, I'm definitely going to be ready when it's ready to go. So here we are with LCX. And uh, keep an eye on that price action. If we do get some dippy action, keep an eye on that 0.0544. If we lose that 0.0544, we definitely could see some consolidation out of this 0.0448. If we lose that price action, you know I'm out here looking for that low price action at that sub four cent area. So keep an eye on that price action. Keep an eye on BTC. We'll do a follow up video tomorrow and see where we're at. We got XLM coming back up as well, creeping up towards that 786 at 0.13. One coming in at let's take a look at that price section just under 0.1284 could possibly be making another run at it. So if we can get over that 0.1311, grab some support consolidation, make it up to that 0.1547 and start making some movement to the upside. I'm definitely out here looking for some <laughs> for these short squeeze action. Got my eyes on that 0.166407 as far as some you know possible decent resistance and uh possibly get some 
consolidation back down to that 786. And if BTC starts getting some dippy action, I definitely got my eyes on this 0.101. And you know, I've been lurking for that low price action on that XLM. I would definitely love some low price accumulation <laughs> sub 10 cent on some XLM would be amazing but i'm also ready if we start making some movement up over that uh, 0.24175 got that as far as breakout action moves to the upside that would be definitely awesome as well so keeping on that price action keeping on btc we'll do some follow-up videos tomorrow and see where we're at so keeping that, keeping on that support could possibly just see some sideways action until the market starts making some movement to the upside so amazing price action across the board loving that price action on xlm and uh we'll do some follow-up videos tomorrow so everybody at xlm good luck moving on up to N nkn coming in under just just under that 12 it's trying to make its move back up to the upside again made a little bit of a run at it so here we are setting up at that uh you know moving up towards that up higher price action coming at 0.1188 can't quite get over the currently and if we are to see some bullish moves upside we've got to get back over that 7.1229 make our way up to over that 618 at 0.165 and start working on that breakout action at 0.3319 for some amazing bullish action decent recovery and moves to the upside so that's where we're going with nkn across the board. if we do start getting some dippy action out of btc got to keep an eye on that support at that uh, 0.105 and if we do come back down to that 0.0660, I'm definitely out here lurking for that low price action. That awesome accumulation, low price sub six NKN would be amazing. I would love that price action. Getting excited just talking about it. So definitely got my eyes on that price action, but I also got my eyes on, you know, a few of these uh, short squeeze areas as far as making some movement to the upside. So I uh, definitely keep an eye on that BTC. A lot of people calling for that uh, move to the upside. A lot of people calling for that bull trap action with this market and the media that's out here i'm definitely out here still lurking for that low price action so keeping on that price action keeping on btc we'll do some follow-up videos tomorrow and see where we're at so uh, for everybody on all the coins we talked about tonight good luck and you always got to remember this is not financial advice these are my views and opinions on the market only and you always got to do what's right for you so you also have a good afternoon good evening good morning good night mr big braids is signing out